वन वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ सिविल पांडा हर घर ऑफिसर सीरीज में हम एमसीक्यू सीरीज ला रहे हैं आपके लिए एमपीपीएससी प्रीलिम्स के लिए 2023 जो कि आपका ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ मे को है अभी तक सारे वीडियो तो अपन ने देखे एमसीक्यू पॉलिटी सीरीज हिस्ट्री सीरीज और एफ लगाई आज स्टार्ट करेंगे नेक्स्ट एफ फॉर एम पी जीएस पेपर वन सो लेटस बिगिन नाउ Let us start with the question number one. Which of the following statements, which of the following statements about personal disposable income is not correct? Which of the following statement regarding personal disposable income is not correct? Option A. Personal disposable income refers to personal income minus taxes at a personal level, always less than the personal income. It excludes transfer payment. it excludes indirect business taxes now we have to tell here what is which option is not correct let me tell you personal disposable income refers to personal income minus taxes this option is correct option because personal income refers to per disposable personal income refers to personal income minus income taxes so this is correct but humko batana hai not correct option b always less than personal income yes हम पर्सनल इनकम में से डिडक्ट करके फिर हम डिस्पोजेबल इनकम निकाल रहे हैं तो ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी लेस देन इट ऑल राइट थर्ड इट एक्सक्लूड ट्रांसफर पेमेंट नाउ लेट मी टेल यू पर्सनल इनकम इंक्लूड्स ऑल द अर्न इनकम एज वेल एज अन अर्न इनकम अन अर्न इनकम मीन्स ट्रांसफर पेमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको किसी ने गिफ्ट दिया कि दस हजार रुपए दे रहे हैं गिफ्ट लेने अपने लिए दस हजार रुपए ट्रांसफर में आया रेमिटेंस आया तो दीज आर ट्रांसफर पेमेंट अलाउवेंस ठीक है तो वो इंक्लूड होती है लेकिन यहां पे लिखा है इट एक्सक्लूड ट्रांसफरमेंट दिस इज रॉन्ग हमको क्या बताना है नॉट करेक्ट तो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इसमें होगा ऑप्शन सी इसका बाकी इट एक्सक्लूड इनडायरेक्ट बिजनेस टैक्सेस दिस ऑप्शन इज आल्सो ऑल राइट तो आवर ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी इट एक्सक्लूड ट्रांसफर पेमेंट नो इट इंक्लूड ट्रांसफर पेमेंट बिकॉज इट इंक्लूड अर्न एज वेल एज अन अर्न इनकम ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पंख अभियान पंख अभियान इन मध्य प्रदेश इज रिलेटेड टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पंख अभियान पंख अभियान इज रिलेटेड टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टूडेंट्स चिल्ड्रेंस हैंडीकैप गर्ल्स एडोलसेंट गर्ल्स राइट ऑप्शन टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज एडोलसेंट गर्ल्स नाउ व्हाट इज दिस पंख अभियान पंख पंख अभियान वॉज यू नो रोल्ड आउट बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जनवरी ऑन 24th of January. Why on 24th of January? Because on 24th of January we celebrate National Girl Child Day. We celebrate 20, on 24th of January National Girl Child Day. Now, punk here is final. Punk here is not uh, some dimbas aise rakh diya hai on uske liye kya bolte hain? Just to give a a personification. Punk. Nahi. Punk ka full form bhi hai. Here P stands for protection. A stands for awareness, N stands for nutrition, K stands for knowledge, and H stands for health. Punk Abhiyan. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number three. Which of the following devices provides wireless connectivity? Which of the following devices provide wireless connectivity to the client with LAN? That is local area network. Your options are wireless adapters, wireless switch. wireless sound router or wireless repeater what is the correct option now let me tell you wo din bhi aata hai jab apne paas laptop aur computers hua karte the aur hum ek net setter use karte the pehle jo devices aate the they do not have in built wireless devices to hum unko connect karte the with the help of wireless adapter with the help of wireless adapter we used to connect these device those devices to internet but aaj ki rate mein we have in built wireless devices in our uh, computers in our laptops that is known as wireless adapter i hope this is clear now moving on to next question question number 4 follow me ghatak related to which of the following sport this happens to be your current affair follow me ghatak is related to which of the following sport is it tennis is it hockey is it table tennis or is it squash now let me tell you she was one of the great sports personalities she even represented india in commonwealth games she was a three to four times uh, national champion also she belonged to which of the following sports tennis 
हॉकी टेबल टेनिस और स्क्वाश द करेक्ट आंसर इज टेबल टेनिस द करेक्ट आंसर इज टेबल टेनिस इज नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव When the second president rule was proclaimed in the state, who was serving as the governor? When the second president rule was proclaimed in the state, who was the serving as governor? Who was serving as governor? That is Satya Narayan Sinha. Option B, Kepudira Mutana. Option C, Bhagwat Dayal Sharma. Or option D, K M Ali Khan. Now let me tell you something. When second president rule was imposed in Madhya Pradesh. At that time, the governor was Chepudira Muthana. Now, you all may confuse it with Bhagwat Dayar Sharma. Now, let me tell you something. Chepudira Muthana was the governor at that time, president rule was proclaimed. But when the president rule was proclaimed from February 1980 to June 1980, he was governor till March. From March onwards, the Governor became Bhagwat Dayal Sharma. Bhagwat Dayal Sharma became the governor. All right. Now, who was the chief minister at that time when second president rule was proclaimed? The chief minister was Sundar Lal Patwa. You can remember it. The chief minister was Sundar Lal Patwa. Was the chief minister. All right. I hope this is clear. Mutana, uh, sorry, Chepudira Mutana was the governor. He was till March. Then. Bhagwat Dayal Sharma became the governor. But your answer when it was proclaimed is Chepudira Muthana. That is option B is your right answer. Now, moving on to next question. Question number 6. Arrange the descending order. Arrange in the descending order the following districts in terms of child sex ratio. In terms of child sex ratio as descending order. That is Bade Sa Chota. As per the census 2011 in Madhya Pradesh, is it Balaghat, Gwalior, Bhind? Is it option B, Bhind, Gwalior, Balaghat? Is it option C, sorry, it is option C, Gwalior, Balaghat, Bhind, or option D, Balaghat, Bhind, and Gwalior? What is the correct answer? Let me tell you something. The correct answer to the question is option D, Balaghat, Bhind, Gwalior. Now, you all know that Balaghat. Balaghat has, here I am talking about child sex ratio. You should also remember that Balaghat, not only in terms of child sex ratio, but normal sex ratio, Balaghat has the highest sex ratio around 1021. All right. And the lowest, lowest sex ratio is in Bhind. Lowest sex ratio is in Bhind. As far as Gwalior is concerned, Gwalior has the lowest child sex ratio. I am repeating. Lowest sex ratio is in Bhind, lowest child sex ratio is in Gwalior. Here we have to arrange in a descending order child sex ratio. So our answer will be option D. That is Balaghat, Bhind and Gwalior. Am I right? All right. Moving on to next question. Question number 7. Biological oxygen demand is standard criteria. Biological oxygen demand is standard criteria for measuring oxygen levels in blood. Computing oxygen levels in forest ecosystem, pollution assay in aquatic ecosystem, or here we have assessment, pollution assessment. All right. Assessing oxygen levels in the high altitude region. What is the correct answer? Biological oxygen demand is the standard criteria for what? The correct answer to this question is you may think, and we go five seconds to think about it. Biological oxygen demand, that is the demand of oxygen underwater increases or decreases. The correct answer is option C. Biological oxygen demand assesses the pollution in aquatic ecosystem. Now, let me tell you something. What is biological oxygen demand? Biological, sorry. Biological oxygen demand. Now, let me tell you something. In water bodies, in water bodies, Till the area where sunlight easily penetrates is known as photic zone. It is known as photic zone. And where sunlight is stops penetrating is known as a photic zone. Generally, photic zone is up to 200 meters. Photic zone is up to 200 meters. 
Now let me tell you what is this biological oxygen demand. Many times around your locality, घर के आसपास आप लोगों ने देखा होगा कि पॉन्ड्स में तालाब में अलगल ब्लूम हो जाती है अलगल ब्लूम दैट इज यू विल फाइंड एलगी कवरिंग द सर्फेस ऑफ द वॉटर एलगी कवरिंग द सर्फेस ऑफ द वॉटर नाउ वॉट इज दिस अलगल ब्लूम ये जो अलगल ब्लूम आप देखते हैं अलगल ब्लूम वॉट इज द कॉज सिंपल आंसर इज यूट्रोपिकेशन यूट्रोफिकेशन वॉट इज दिस यूट्रोफिकेशन when excess nutrients when excess nutrients leach out ho kar ke pani mein jaate hain in the water bodies when the excess nutrients when they leach out and they reach the water bodies they result into algal bloom zyada nutrition supply ho raha hai pani mein kahan se we use pesticides and fertilizers we discharge domestic wastes uh, household waste uh, log kapde dhote hain wahan pe they use surf excel surfs so all this what happens they leach excess nutrients in the water which results into algal bloom now again let me tell you something suppose this is a pond suppose this is the pond and here is the surface of the water ab sunlight penetrate ho kar ke andar ja rahi hai sunlight is important under aquatic in aquatic in aquatic ecosystem sunlight is important why photosynthesis Up to 200 meters, sunlight can reach up to 200 meters. All right. ये तो बड़ी water bodies से बात कर रहे हैं अपन. Now let's talk about pond. Sunlight is important to in order to uh, perform photosynthesis to create to release oxygen. Oxygen is produced. All right. Now what happens when these algal blooms cover the surface of the water? It is not easy for the sunlight to penetrate. When sunlight do not cannot penetrate under the water in ponds or water bodies, what happens? the marine organism the marine organisms here <coughs> how they survive they utilize oxygen under water all right now what they do if sunlight is not reaching the water not reaching under the water they are not able to uh, they the, uh, the plants or the phytoplanktons the present under water are not able to perform photosynthesis all right they are not producing oxygen now slowly and steadily <coughs> all the oxygen all the dissolved oxygen that is in this water all the dissolved oxygen in this water slowly and steadily this will be consumed by the organism now if any marine organism dies fish dies now it is to be decomposed by the aerobic bacteria it is to be decomposed this dead marine organism fish is to be decomposed by the aerobic bacteria and it requires oxygen when oxygen levels are depleted under water and due to algal bloom sunlight is not penetrating under water the biological oxygen demand the demand of oxygen the oxygen required in order to decompose the dead marine organism inside the water increases this is biological oxygen demand all right i have tried to explain it in a simple way i hope this is clear now moving on to next question all right Moving on to question number eight. Moving on to question number eight. That is, here. <clears throat> What happens when pendulum is carried onto a mountain? What happens when pendulum is carried onto a mountain? The value of g increases, time period decreases. The value of g decreases and time period increases. the value of both g and time period decreases or the value of both g and time period increases now i'm giving you 5 seconds 10 seconds to think about it what happens when a pendulum is carried onto a mountain now before you uh, you, you think yourself i'm going to tell you only this for now <clears throat> a time period of a pendulum if i can say so is inversely proportional to under root of g is inversely proportional to under root of <clears throat> g now when we go high the mountain if you are going into the mountain altitude altitude is increasing what you will what you will witness that the value of g decreases value of g decreases and as you know the relation between the time period of a pendulum and uh, the under root g it is inversely proportional to 1 upon under root g if g decreases the time period will increase the vibration taken by the pendulum when you take it to the mountain it will the time period will increase because of this particular relation so correct option is 
option hmm b the value of g decreases and the time period will increase all right moving on to next question question number 9th match the list question number 9th match the list list 1 mein tumhare paas hai states list 2 mein hai state animals you have to match it chatisgarh madhya pradesh maharashtra rajasthan wild water buffalo indian giant squirrel bara singha chinkara now you all know that madhya pradesh ka bara singha hai all right madhya pradesh state animal is bara singha now ab b ka third b ka third in dono option mein c aur b mein to a aur d eliminate ho gaye all right a aur d eliminated now chatisgarh ka state animal chatisgarh ka state animal hai what wild water buffalo maharashtra ka state animal hai Indian giant squirrel, Rajasthan का state animal है चिंकारा तो so, our correct option is option B. Option B is our answer. Chhattisgarh state animal is wild water buffalo. Madhya Pradesh का state animal is Bara Singha. Maharashtra Indian giant squirrel, Rajasthan चिंकारा Now tell me in the comment box. Tell me in the comment box what is the scientific name of Bara Singha? What is the scientific name of Bara Singha? and uh, that is mp's kanha national park has its own mascot <clears throat> bara singha which is known as bhur singh you must have heard that tell me in the comment box what is the scientific name of bara singha all right moving on to question number 10 <clears throat> who was guardian of shivaji who was guardian of guardian of shivaji all right now you all know his father shahji but who was guardian of shivaji Shaji Bhosle, Dadoji Bondev, Baloji Raja Bhosle, none of these. Think about it. Option A, Shaji Bhosle, Dadoji Bondev, Baloji Raja Bhosle, Option D, none of these. The correct answer is Dadoji Bondev. He is the one, Dadoji Bondev was the one who taught Shivaji the art of warfare, the art of administration, as well as in the name of uh, Shivaji, he also took care of the Jagirs of which were which belongs to his father. All right. Now moving on to next question. Question number eleven. Which of the following is not correctly? Which of the following is not correctly matched with reference to new governors and respective states? With respect to new governors and respective states. Savarchan Gehlot, Kerala. Hari Bapu Khambapati, Mizoram. Arvi, Arlegar, Himanchal Pradesh, Mangu Bhai, Shagan Bhai Patel, Madhya Pradesh. Now, there has been a small mistake in framing the question. I'm telling you right now, what is it? I'm going to explain this question to you. All right. Now, Mangu Bhai, Shagan Bhai Patel, Madhya Pradesh. Yes, you all know this is right. All right. Hari Babu, Khambapati, Mizoram. This is also right. Also right. But here, two options are wrong. All right. I'm telling you. Tars and Gehlot. Governor of Kerala? No. The governor of Kerala is Arif Muhammad. Arif Muhammad Khan. Arif Muhammad is the governor of Kerala. Similarly, Arvi Arlekar is not the governor of Himanchal Pradesh. The governor of Himanchal Pradesh is Shiv Pratap Sukla. Shiv Pratap Sukla. All right. Now, I hope this is clear. Moving on to next question. Question number 12. Arrange the following movement in chronological order. Arrange the following movement in the chronological order. Non-cooperation movement, civil disobedience movement, quit India movement, Khilafat movement. Option A, 1, 2, 3, 4. Option B, 2, 1, 4, 3. Option C, 4, 1, 2, 3. Or option D, 1, 3, 4, 1, 4, 2. Sorry. Now let me tell you something. Khilafat movement began 1990. Quit India movement begin 1942. Non cooperation movement 1920. Civil disobedience movement. Now you can easily answer. Our correct option will be Khilafat movement. Next, 1920 non cooperation movement. Then, civil disobedience movement. Then, Quit India movement. Our correct option is option. Khilafat movement, 
who who were the leaders of Khilafat movement? Shaukat Ali Khan and Muhammad Ali Khan, two brothers. All right. Quit India movement. Gandhi ji gave slogan. Karo ya maro. Do or die. This is the final call. Leave India. All right. Moving on to question number thirteen. Which of the following ocean current is not found in Indian Ocean? Which of the following ocean current current is not found in Indian Ocean? Kurosho current, Somali current, Madagascar current, or Agulhas current. Now I am giving you time to think about it. And in between, when you think the correct option, I am telling you, Somali current is a cold current. Agulhas current is a warm current, and Madagascar current is also. Warm current. Kurosho is cold current. Again, Kurosho is also cold current. Now, have you thought of the right answer? Which of the following ocean current is not found in Indian Ocean? The correct answer to this question is yes. Option A. Kurosho cold current is not found in Indian Ocean. Rather, Kurosho cold current is found in where? Pacific. Yes, Pacific, not in Indian Ocean. All right, and you should remember, Kurosho is a cold current, Somali is a cold current, Agulhas warm current, Madagascar is also warm current. All right, moving on to next question. Question number fourteen: In which year? In sorry, in which layer of Earth does earthquake begin? Now you should not get this question wrong. All right, in which layer of Earth does an earthquake begins? The crust of the Earth, the inner core of the Earth. The outer core of the Earth, the inner mantle of the Earth. Now you can easily eliminate that inner core and outer core. I am sure of that. You can easily eliminate these two. Now the crust of the Earth, the inner mantle of the Earth. Have you remember Alfred Wegener when he was studying geography? Alfred Wegener told you about uh, the plate tectonics. What is it? The crust of the Earth is made up of several lithospheric plates. These plates. The gradual movement of these plates create earthquake. You must have heard it. All right. So the correct option will be the crust of the earth. In which layer of the earth does earthquake begin? The crust of the earth. Now let us move to the next question. Question number fifteen. Which of the following is correct about Milan Tutti? Current affairs as well as science and tech static part. Which of the following is correct about Milan Tutti? It is a surface-to-air ballistic missile. It is a medium range surface to air missile. It is a long range surface to surface ballistic missile or it is an anti tank guided missile ATGM. What is it ATGM? Recently ATGM, uh, different ATGMs were in news uh, pertaining to Russia Ukraine war. All right, Milan 2T. The correct option to the question is option D. Milan 2T is an anti tank guided missile which is Created, which is produced by Bharat Dynamics Limited. Produced by Bharat Dynamics Limited. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number sixteen. Which one of the following is nearest to the international date line? Strait of Malacca, Bering Strait, Strait of Florida, or Strait of Gibraltar? I am giving you ten seconds to think about it. Which of the following is nearest to international date line? Now, meanwhile, you think for a very Strait of Malacca, or what is a Strait? Now, let me tell you, Strait. A Strait is nothing. A Strait is nothing but a narrow passage of water, a narrow passage of water that connects two bigger water bodies, two bigger water bodies. This is a narrow passage of water, narrow water body, narrow water body, which connects. Two bigger water bodies. This is straight. Now, ये हो गया आपका straight. Now moving on to it. <clears throat> Which of the following is nearest to international date line? Now, while you think, let me tell you something. Strait of Malacca. Where is Strait of Malacca? Strait of Malacca connects Andaman Sea to South China Sea. Bering Strait. Bering Strait connects Bering Sea to Tuxi Sea. Strait of Florida. Strait of Florida connects Gulf of Mexico to Atlantic Sea. Strait of Gibraltar. Strait of Gibraltar present between uh, Spain and Morocco. It connects Mediterranean to Atlantic. Now, which of the following is nearest to international date line? The correct answer is Bering Strait. Bering Strait is nearest to international date line. Now, moving on to next question. Tulsi Samman. Tulsi Samman is given for the field of number one sports, traditional and folk arts, literature, 
journalism tulsi samman which is given in the honor of uh, tulsi das by government of madhya pradesh tulsi das was a great literary he wrote ram charit manas the correct option is traditional and folk art tulsi samman is given in the field of traditional folk arts with the prize money of rupees 2 lakh by government of madhya pradesh 2 lakh all right moving on to next question question number 18 Loktak Lake of Manipur is an example of which type of drainage pattern? Loktak Lake of Manipur is an example of which type of drainage pattern system? Dendritic drainage pattern system, radial system, centripetal system, or trellis system? Now, while you think, let me tell you something. In dendritic system, the tributaries of a river appears like forming the branches of a tree, like this, forming the branches of a tree. All right. in radial drainage radial system is uh, observed whenever a river originates upon a hill for example in amarkantak whenever uh, it if river originates up on a hill they flow in all the directions from the hill this is radial drainage pattern now centripetal system when in a depression or in a lake water is uh, you know accumulating from around all the direction rivers are coming from all the direction that that makes centripetal drainage pattern all right our answer to the question is loktak lake it has centripetal drainage system centripetal drainage system where in a lake or a depression rivers from all the directions performs the tributary all right moving on to next question all right question number 19 bird sanctuary bird sanctuary of salana is set up for the conservation of bird sanctuary of salana is set up for the conservation of harmur bird great indian bustard both a and b none of the above now while you think of answer of this question i'll tell you salana bird sanctuary is in ratlam salana bird sanctuary is in ratlam all right the correct answer is harmur bird harmur bird it is set up this bird sanctuary of salana is set up especially for the conservation of this bird which is present in ratlam all right now moving on to next question which of the following is are not correctly matched book here you have book here you have name of the author which one of the following is not correctly matched all right you know fir amir khusro patwai firoz shah firoz shah tughlaq tarik e firoz shahi firoz shah tughlaq tajul masir hasan nizami which of the following is not correctly matched now let me tell you something no sir fir amir khusro is correct It was written by Amir Khusro. Patwai Firoz Shahi written by Firoz Shah Tughlaq himself. Yes, it is correct. Tajul Masir Hasan Nizami. Yes, it is also correct. Tajul Masir was written by Hasan Nizami. Now, Tariq E Firoz Shahi. So it appears that uh, Firoz Shah Tughlaq might have wrote it, but it is not the right answer. Tariq E Firoz Shahi was written by Diyauddin Barni. It is written by Diyauddin Barni. All right. Now moving on to next question. Twenty-one. Where is the headquarters of Botanical Survey of India is located? Where is the headquarters of Botanical Survey of India located? Is it in Mumbai, Prayagraj, Bangalore, and Calcutta, Kolkata? What is the right answer? Now, why you think of its correct answer? Let me tell you something. Botanical Survey of India established thirteenth of Feb, eighteen ninety. Thirteenth of Feb, eighteen ninety. botanical survey of india its headquarters are present in calcutta the headquarters of botanical survey of india is in kolkata it was established in on 30th of feb 1890 i hope it is clear now moving on to next question question number 22 all right which of the following statement which of the following statement is correct oxygen is the most abundant element in the human body tooth enamel is the hardest substance of body trace elements are not found in human body calcium phosphate compound is found in maximum amount in the human body actually a question should be which of the following statement here is incorrect which of the following statement here is incorrect oxygen is the most abundant element in the human body tooth enamel is the hardest substance of body trace elements are not found in human body 
calcium phosphate compound is found maximum amount in human body? Correct answer is option C. It is incorrect. Why? Because trace elements are present in human body, though they are present in a very minute quantity, but still trace elements are found in human body. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number 23. Who received Japan's Fukuoka Grand Prize 2021? Who received Japan's Fukuoka Grand Prize for 2021? Option A, P. Sainath. Option B, N. Krishna. Option C, Ravish Kumar. Or Option D, Mio Shimoto. While you think the correct answer to the question is P. Sainath. P. Sainath received Japan's Fukuoka Grand Prize for 2021. The correct answer is Option A, P. Sainath. Moving on to the next question. How many agroclimatic zones are in Madhya Pradesh? This also happens to be your previous year question, uh, previous one prelims. How many agroclimatic zones are in Madhya Pradesh? 9, 8, 10, 11. The correct answer to the question is, I will give you 5 seconds to think about it. The agroclimatic zones are in Madhya Pradesh. 9, 8, 10, 11. The correct option is 11. There are 11 agroclimatic zones in Madhya Pradesh. Now you can see Madhya Pradesh has diverse agricultural climate going to its different. All right, moving on to next question. Javra, Matki, Arakhada, Nach are popular form of traditional dances associated with which among the following states? Odisha, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar. Now, if you have MPPSC ka question, hai, MP hai, option with MP answer, you will have MP answer. Hai. But not every time MP is the answer. All right. These dances are popular folk dances which are performed in a state of Madhya Pradesh. Now tell me what is the state dance of Madhya Pradesh? Tell me in the comment box what is the state dance of Madhya Pradesh? All right. Moving on to next question. India's indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas has added the fifth generation dash air to air missile in its air to air weapons. Is it Prithvi? Is it Brahmos? Is it Python 5 or is it Nirbhaya? Which of the following missiles have been inducted in India's indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas? Which is an air to air weapon? Is it Prithvi, Brahmos, Nirbhaya or Python 5? Well, your answer to the question is Python 5. Python 5 is the fifth generation air to air missile. Alright, moving on to next question. Question number 27. Which of the following option is related to the Wildlife Conservation Agreement. Which of the following option is related to the Wildlife Conservation Agreement? Is it Sites Agreement? Is it Stockholm Agreement? Is it Montreal Protocol? Or is it Vienna Protocol? I am giving you 10 seconds to think about it. While you think, let me tell you. Montreal Protocol is for ozone depleting substances. Stockholm Convention for persistent organic pollutants. DNA agreement is also for the ozone depleting substances. All right. Moving on, what is the right answer? DNA and Montreal are, uh, are for the uh, carbon and uh, carbon dioxide emission, especially ozone depleting substances emission. All right. Sites agreement is your right answer. Sites. Sites agreement, that is, which of the following option is related to the wildlife conservation agreement? Your answer is sites. That is, Conservation in the international trade of endangered species of wild flora and fauna. All right, moving on to next question. Question number twenty-eight. Jaldeep Yojana is related to. Jaldeep Yojana is related to providing food to fishes, providing food to fishermen, pollution control of water bodies, providing safe drinking water. Jaldeep Yojana. Now the correct answer to the question is providing food to fishermen. Providing food to fishermen related to Jaldeep Yojana. Now, you know, in MP, the fisheries industries or those fishermen which are engaged in this industry are, you know, solely dependent upon agriculture and allied activities mainly in fisheries. Okay, so government of Madhya Pradesh ne kya kiya hai? Inke liye Jaldeep Yojana lai hai to provide them food and livelihood. Now, moving on to next question. Question number 29. The officer responsible for artillery in Mughal administration was. The officer responsible for artillery in Mughal administration was Mir Saman, Mir Bahar, Mir Atish, Mir Tuzuk. What is the correct answer? Mir Saman, Mir Bahar, Mir Tuzuk. The correct answer is Mir Atish. 
Viratish was responsible for what? Artillery in the Mughal administration. Now, moving on to next question. Question number 30. Question number 30. Match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using codes given below. Match the list. List 1, list 2. List 1 you have international organization and in list 2 you have headquarters. With, hmm, international Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation. Indian Ocean Rim Association. Asian Development Bank. Which of the following is correctly matched? Oh, sorry, you have to match it correctly. All right. Now think about it. I am giving you time to think. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development (IBRD) is a part of World Bank Group. World Bank Group. As you know, the headquarters for World Bank is Washington D.C. So I can confirm that International Bank for Reconstruction and Development must have its headquarters in Washington D.C. मतलब ये का second होगा. Then Asian Development Bank. Asian Development Bank. Asian Development Bank has its headquarters in Philippines. All right. So A ka two, B ka four. Kis option mein A ka two or D ka four hai? Option C. Now, for us, common sense, dimag laga ke, as you can eliminate or uh, or you can reach to the correct answer. Now, B ka first, Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation, Singapore, Indian Association, Rim Association, Mauritius. You can also could have guessed that apart from agar Asian Development Bank nahi aa raha hai, to Indian Ocean Rim Association, Mauritius. All right. Now let us move to the next question. Question number 31. Where is Tachigam National Park located? Where is Tachigam National Park located? Is it Arunachal Pradesh? Is it Manipur? Is it Sikkim or is it Jammu and Kashmir? Temperate National Park. Tachigam National Park it has temperate type of flora and fauna. Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Sikkim or Jammu and Kashmir. What is the right answer? The right answer to the question is Achigam National Park is in Jammu and Kashmir. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number thirty-two. With reference to Jainism and Buddhism, with reference to Jainism and Buddhism. All right. With reference to Jainism and Buddhism. All right. With reference to Jainism and Buddhism, which among the following statements are true? Jainism and Buddhism. Which of which among the following statements are true? The religious texts in Jainism are known as Tripitaka. <coughs> Sorry. Whereas religious texts in Buddhism are known as Agamas. Both Buddhism and Jainism stress the principle of non-violence against animals. Select the correct answer using the quotes given below. One only, two only, both, neither. Now, Buddhism and Jainism stress on non-violence against animals. This is right. This is absolutely correct. Option 2 is absolutely correct. Now, uh, limit neither one and all right. Moving on to next. Religious texts in Jainism are known as Tripitaka and in Buddhism known as Agamas. This is false. Why? Because Tripitakas are religious texts of Buddhism whereas Agamas are religious texts of Jain. So, we are asking about the correct option. The correct option is two only. Two only are true. Two only. Buddhism and Jainism both stressed upon the non violence. Uh, religious texts of Buddhism is known as Tripitaka, and the religious texts of uh, Jainism is known as Agamas. Now, moving on to the next question. All right. Question 33. Which of the following statements are correct regarding Natraks? The high speed track, HST, high speed track Natrax. All right. The Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprise inaugurated Natrax, the high speed track in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. It is the longest such track in Asia and world's fifth longest high speed track for automobiles. It is a world class 21.3 kilometer high speed track. Select the correct answer using the code. What is it? Again, I am repeating the statement. The Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprise inaugurated Natrax, the high speed track in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. It is the longest such track in Asia and fifth longest high speed track for automobiles. It is a world class 21.3 kilometer high speed track. Now select the correct option. Your options are 
टू ऑनली वन ऑनली वन इन टू वन टू एंड थ्री और वन टू थ्री लाउ लेट मी टेल यू द ट्रक्स द हाई स्पीड ट्रैक इज नॉट इनोग्रेटेड इन लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश इट इज इन मध्य प्रदेश पीथमपुर ऑल राइट तो ऑप्शन वन इज एलिमिनेटेड सेकेंड लाउ लेट मी टेल यू अगेन रिविजिट द क्वेश्चन It is a world-class 21.3 kilometer high-speed network. No, its length is not 21.3 kilometer. It is somewhere approximately 11.3 kilometer to 11.4 kilometer. All right. So this statement is also wrong. It is the longest such track in Asia and world's fifth longest high-speed track for automobiles. It is absolutely correct. All right. Our correct option is two only. Now let us see. Do we have two only in the options? Of course, option A. Our correct option is option A, two only. All right. Now, moving on to next question. DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology, has created world's first world's first database of genomic variant named the <coughs> Department of Biotechnology. Okay, has created world's first database of genomic variant named Genovac. Genovac, in which disease? COVID nineteen, thalassemia, oral cancer, or AIDS? Now, tell me, Genovac. I am giving you five seconds to think about it. Department of Biotechnology is then uh, created world's first database of genomic variant named Genovac, COVID nineteen, thalassemia, oral cancers, or AIDS. It is a basically a database. It is basically a database. Where uh, you will have information of all the uh, patients regarding their uh, uh, symptoms and uh, disease cure and treatment and all. It is for the oral cancer. Correct answer is oral cancer. Direct Department of Biotechnology has created Genovac, that is online database for which disease oral cancer. Okay. Oral, जितने भी प्रकार के oral cancer अन्य uh, different types symptoms treatments everything will be presented in that database. <coughs> Which of the following is the major component, major component of Mahalanobis model for second five-year plan? Which of the following was major component of Mahalanobis model of second five-year plan? Is it agricultural growth? Is it stress on the service sector? Is it heavy in capital intensive is industries or is it health sector? Now let me tell you. Second five-year plan, which was designed and developed by PC Mahalanobis, okay? PC Mahalanobis. उनका मेन पॉइंट ये था कि इंडिया शुड रिड्यूस इट्स डिपेंडेंट अपॉन फॉरेन कंट्रीज इवन फॉर द स्मॉल टूल्स और इवन फॉर द स्मॉल इक्विपमेंट्स दैट वी इंपोर्ट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द कंट्री सो ही स्ट्रेस अपॉन हैवी एंड कैपिटल इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्रीज दैट कैपिटल शुड बी क्रिएटेड इन इंडिया एज वेल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट शुड टेक प्लेस इन इंडिया एज वेल एंड वन ऑफ द यू नो द स्मार्टेस्ट वे टू इंक्रीज यूर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इज टू इन्वेस्ट इन द कैपिटल इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्रीज तो PC Mahalanobis uh, in the model of the second five year plan he regardless of the fact is stressed upon the heavy and capital intensive industries i hope this is clear now moving on to next question question number 36 the provisions of reservation of seat for scheduled tribe the preservation of reservation of seats in the scheduled tribes in municipalities in madhya pradesh have been made under which of the following articles of the constitution of india Is it 243T clause 1, 243S clause 1, 243R clause 1, 243U clause 1? I am giving you five seconds to think about. It. The provision for the reservation of seats for scheduled tribe in municipalities in Madhya Pradesh have been made under which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution? Is it 243T clause 1? B. Option C. Option D. The answer is option A. 243. T clause one. All right. Now it is your homework. You should know what are all these other clauses. What is contained in them? When you revise, revise your static portion with by solving this MCQ. It will be much more beneficial. Always use the method of active recall. Whenever you solve any MCQ, also focus on the points that why other options are wrong. This will help you to prepare well, and this will also improve your retention. Retention. Uh, what we can say. Retention capacity. चीजों को retain करने की capacity you will be able to handle all that. Now moving on to question number thirty-seven. Which among the following has developed short 
शॉर्ट स्पैन ब्रिजिंग सिस्टम एन एम शॉर्ट स्पैन ब्रिजिंग सिस्टम ए आर डी ओ इसरो भेल हॉल वॉट इज इसरो इंडियन स्पेस एंड रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एम बी पी एस सी हैज आस्ट इट्स फुल फॉर्म इन द प्रीवियस एग्जामिनेशन हॉल हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक लिमिटेड हेल भारत हैवी इलेक्ट्रिकल लिमिटेड द शॉर्ट स्पैन ब्रिजिंग सिस्टम इज डेवलप्ड बाय डीआरडीओ दैट इज डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है एस एस बी एस द शॉर्ट स्पैन ब्रिजिंग सिस्टम इज क्रिएटेड बाय डीआरडीओ वेर इन दे कैन इजिली इमेक्यूलेट अ ब्रिज इन अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंडियन रेलवे हैज ओपन फर्स्ट मूवेबल फ्रेश वॉटर टनल एक्वेरियम फर्स्ट मूवेबल फ्रेश वॉटर टनल एक्वेरियम इन बीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रेलवे स्टेशन इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सी एस आर बेंगलोरो विजयवाड़ा जोधपुर एम जी आर चेन्नई सेंटर आई एम गिविंग यू फाइव सेकेंड टू थिंक अबाउट इट इट इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग थिंग टू विटनेस द मूवेबल फ्रेश वॉटर टनल एक्वेरियम विच हैज बीन ओपन बाई इंडियन रेलवे विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रेलवे स्टेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए एस आर बैंगलोर ए एस आर बैंगलोर रेलवे Indian Railway opened this first freshwater tunnel aquarium in KSR Bangalore. All right, moving on to next question. Gandhi Sagar Dam is built on which river? Now you should tell. You should be able to tell this answer in within two seconds. All right. Gandhi Sagar Dam is built on which river? Is it Chambal, Betwa, Kain, Narmada? In fact, Gandhi Sagar Dam has one of the largest reservoirs in India. One of the largest reservoirs in India after Hirakun Dam. or the volume does not differ so much you should keep this in mind that the reservoir of gandhi sagar is one of the largest in india all right gandhi sagar dam is built on which river chambal betwa kain and narmada the correct answer is yes chambal <clears throat> it is built on chambal all right moving on to next question question number 40 keshav chandra roy was associated keshav chandra roy was associated with Which of the following movement? Keshav Chandra Roy, Abna movement, Indigo Revolts, Second Riots, Punjab Peasant Movement. Keshav Chandra Roy, Keshav Chandra Roy. Which of the following movement? Indigo Revolt, Second Riots, Punjab Peasant or Punjab Peasant Movement. All right. The correct answer. I am giving you time to think. All right. Think about it. What is the correct answer? And by the time you think, let me tell you something. When Indigo Revolt was going on, there is a drama written for it that is neel darpan neel darpan who wrote neel darpan this is your homework tell me in the comment box tell me in the comment box who wrote neel darpan all right now the correct option is pavna movement keshav chand roy is associated with pavna revolt pavna movement which uh, took place in the yusuf sahib yusuf sahib pargana of bengal all right all right moving on to next question मध्य प्रदेश लघु उद्योग निगम वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन मध्य प्रदेश लघु उद्योग निगम वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन 1958 1961 1963 और 1970 वेल द करेक्ट आंसर इज 1961 मध्य प्रदेश लघु उद्योग निगम वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन द ईयर 1961 मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 42 द क्वार्टर्स ऑफ द रिवॉल्यूशनरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट द गदर पार्टी The Gadar Party, the Gadar Party was located in San Francisco, London, Alaska, Dallas. Well, while you think of its answer, I would tell you something. The Gadar Party was established on 13th of Feb, 13th of Feb in where? San Francisco, San Francisco. By who? Lala Hardyal. Lala Hardyal organized the Gadar Party. Yes, there were uh, uh, other members like Sohan Singh Bakhna who was also participated. All right, the other party was located in San Francisco, 13th of Feb, 13th of January. All right, <clears throat> moving on to next question. Question number 43. Consider the following mountain ranges: Ladakh Range, Pir Panjal, Karakoram Range, Jaskar. Arrange the following ranges from south to north. From south to north. You need to go from south to north. Is it option A, option B, option D, option C? Ladakh Range, Pir Panjal Range, Karakoram and Jaskar. Now let me tell you something. All right.
Karakuram, the Dark Range, Daskar, and Pir Panjal. This will be your south to north. This will be your south to north depiction of mountains. Okay, mountain ranges. Now look at the question. Consider the following mountain ranges: Ladakh Range, Pir Panjal, Karakuram, Jaskar. Arrange the following from south to north. सबसे पहले क्या आएगा साउथ में दैट इज पीर पांजाल ऑप्शन टू ऑल राइट देन फिर क्या आएगा जस्कार रेंज ऑप्शन फोर ऑल राइट फिर क्या आएगा लद्दाख रेंज ऑप्शन वन फिर थ्री काराकुरम दैट इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर टू फोर वन थ्री ऑल राइट लद्दाख रेंज ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज वेन वी रेंज साउथ टू नॉर्थ फर्स्ट विल एनकाउंटर पीर पंजाल देन जस्कार देन लद्दाख देन काराकुरम मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थीम बेड का इन मध्य प्रदेश थीम बेड का इन मध्य प्रदेश इस पैलियोलिथिक साइट नियोलिथिक साइट मेगालिथिक साइट और मेसोलिथिक साइट थीम बेड का इन मध्य प्रदेश इज व्हाट पैलियोलिथिक साइट नियोलिथिक मेसोलिथिक और मेगालिथिक साइट यस ऑफ कोर्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज पैलियोलिथिक साइट थीम बेड का इन मध्य प्रदेश इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट पैलियोलिथिक साइट दैट हैव द अर्लीस्ट पॉसिबल ट्रेसेज ऑफ ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन थीम बेड का It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. All right. Moving on to question number forty-five. Madhya Pradesh has India's first green field SEZ. It is located in which city of Madhya Pradesh? Which city of Madhya Pradesh? Now, special economic zones. Special economic zones, which are uh, special geographical areas within the boundary of a country. In India, the SEZ is governed by Special Economic Zone Act, two thousand and five. They have uh, different kinds of financial liberty, uh, production liberty, infrastructural liberties, and uh, incentives by the government of India. In Madhya Pradesh, India's first green field SEZ is set up. All right, the correct answer is it is in the Pithampur district. Pithampur. It is in the Pithampur city of Madhya Pradesh. All right, India's first green field SEZ, Pithampur city of <coughs> Madhya Pradesh. Moving on to next. Question number forty-six. Jovanel Moise, Jovanel Moise, who was assassinated after an attack, was president of which country? Obviously, if he was assassinated, how can he be the current president? All right, he was assassinated. Jovanel Moise was assassinated after an attack. Was the president of which country? Angola, Bolivia, Romania, or Haiti? The correct answer is Haiti. He was the president of Haiti. He was assassinated. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number twenty-seven. What is the other name of Shyadri Range? What is the other name of Shyadri Range? What is the other name of Shyadri Range? Let's say Himalayas, Shivaliks, Eastern Ghats, Western Ghats. Shyadri. I am giving you five seconds to think. Shyadri. What is the other name of Shyadri? Let's say Himalaya, Shivalik. Western Ghats or Eastern Ghats. The correct answer is Western Ghats. Western Ghats are known by different names, and Western Ghats have many regional divisions also. Whether it is Kutch and Kathiawar Plateau, Karnataka Plateau, and Malabar. So it has different divisions. Shyadri is the name the, which are uh, Western Ghats are famous as Shyadri is where in Maharashtra region. All right. Now moving on to next question. Question number forty-eight. How much fiscal deficit? How much fiscal deficit? What is fiscal deficit? That is revenue and expenditure. And revenue minus expenditure. If expenditure exceeds the revenue of any government, it is said to have fiscal deficit. How much fiscal deficit was estimated in the state budget 2021? Yes, obviously this is the this question is asking about the previous budget. This budget you also know. How much fiscal deficit was estimated in the state budget 2021? 4.4, 4.9, 3.6, 5.8. The correct answer is 4.9. Right? 4.9 percent of the fiscal deficit it was estimated in the state budget 2021. You should know what is the estimate of fiscal budget in 2022-23. All right. Tell me in the comment box 22-23. What is the fiscal deficit estimate of MP state budget in 22-23? Tell me in the comment section. Now moving on to next question. <clears throat> question number forty-nine. The Attorney General of India, <clears throat> the Attorney General of India, is appointed by Chief Justice of Supreme Court, 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट द अटर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया इज अपॉइंटेड बाय चीफ मिनिस्टर सॉरी चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट और वाइस प्रेसिडेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज यस ऑफ कोर्स प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑल राइट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ मूविंग टू द मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पार्ट विल कवर द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ठीक है क्वेश्चन नंबर दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वट इज इट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड वॉज इंसर्टेड इन द प्रियम्बल बाय फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट एक्ट फोर्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी जस्टिस इक्वालिटी लिबर्टी सोशलिस्ट जस्टिस इक्वालिटी लिबर्टी सोशलिस्ट बाय फोर्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट गवर्ड सोशलिस्ट वॉज इंसर्टेड the word socialist was inserted in the constitution along with the socialist secular word is also was also inserted in the constitution all right so we have completed part 1 of again this flt for your mppsc prelims 2023 thanks for joining us and if you do like our videos and our question format do like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you next time